Hi, John Strohmeyer with Strohmeyer Law. Today we're talking about do not resuscitate orders. What are they and how do we use them? Well, one of the forms we use infrequently, but does get asked about a lot, is the do not resuscitate order. This is a form that clients can use to make sure that if they are in a life and death situation outside of a hospital, instructions can be left that so that they are not resuscitated by doctors, EMTs, paramedics, or other medical per personnel. So what they're really saying is if something happens, if I go into a situation where my death is imminent, please just let me go. This is different than some other documents that we will normally prepare as part of the estate planning process. So it's not a medical power of attorney where you're going to appoint an agent to make medical decisions for you. And it's not an advanced directive to physicians where you're going to make certain decisions about your care and treatment at, in end of life situations. Now, a do not resuscitate order is, is meant to cover situations where you're outside of the hospital and you wanna make sure that you are not revived. So some things to remember that this will stop uh, phys or physicians or other medical personnel from engaging in CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. They won't use a defibrillator on you to restart your heart. They can't do any advanced airway management to make sure that you're breathing. Basically, if they're there and they see that you have this DNR form available and it is all in order, they are basically there to kind of provide some comfort to you as you uh, leave this world. So the form comes from the legislature. We generally are not going to alter that. One of the things that you do have to have on this, you know, in a, normally you'll need at least two witnesses and or a notary public, but unlike other documents, you must have a physician sign off on this document. They've got to sign, they've got to date it, they've also got to put their license number on there. So this is not a form that generally my office would start with because it has to be signed off on the doctor. We don't want to prepare a document that is not going to work for clients and because a doctor has to sign off on this, we really want the doctor to be comfortable with the form and generally we're going to ask for the doctor to provide us with their form just so we can make sure everything looks good to us. But honestly, if the doctor is coming up with the form, it's probably something that's been vetted by the hospital that they work at. Um, if this has been signed, so you've got your two witnesses or a notary and that physician's signature in addition to the principal's signature, then doctors, uh, nurses, and other medical personnel must honor this request. They can't look at it and not agree to follow what it's saying. Now, it's possible that there may be some suspicious circumstances surrounding an impending death and a medical personnel, uh, you know, doctor or nurse may say, well, look, there's something else going on here. We see this DNR, but if they have reason to suspect that either the form isn't complete or possibly if the person is pregnant, they have the option to not honor it. So DNR is a document we rarely use, but it is for people who are expecting to have some sort of event outside of the home where their life will likely come to an end and they do not want to be resuscitated. It's not the same as a medical power of attorney. It's also not an advanced directive. Those are separate documents. And what it will do is basically provide for some guidance on a very specific situation where your death is imminent, you're outside of the hospital, and you do not want to be resuscitated. 